Mm. Not really dating. Oh, wait, yeah. I am dating. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, no, I'm not. Wait, I don't know. Are What's you- going on here? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Why are you laughing? Because I didn't hear your countdown just now. So all of a sudden, I was on three and you started. We're going to keep it going. Hello, everybody. (laughs) Welcome. Just always criticizing me right in the beginning. Do you have something to say? Is there... Who pissed in your Cheerios this morning? Who pissed in your Cheerios? You interrupted me. Please, take the floor. (laughs) My goodness. I can't do it anymore. Do you want to do it for me? Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Unwaxed Podcast with your favorite sisters, Sophia and Sistine Stallone. Wow. That was Hi. it. That was a good good start of it. Good start. Know? I think we've had, maybe there's just a little bit of tension. I've been away from you. I just returned yeah. from New York. I know a few episodes back, we talked about how I Went to New York Fashion Week, was a little bit nervous because mm-hmm. I used to live there and there was all this old feeling. But how did you, how do you looked amazing? I mean, you Thank went to you. such cool shows. You looked really bomb. Thank you. It was, it was a lot better being on that side of it as opposed to being backstage and doing right. the whole thing. A lot of hair tutorials, tutorials, I can't even speak. I did. I went with um, a hair brand. So it was, the problem was they thought that I was more influencer than I actually am. And so yeah, they said, true. okay, you need to post this many TikToks, do these hair tutorials, explain it. I don't know how to do hair, therefore. I mean, I was telling Sophia on the way yeah. here how greasy and disgusting my hair is, so yeah. I had to go in a bun today. I can't do hair tutorials, and now they're not liking my tutorials. It's a whole thing. But But how did you feel about New York being back there? So weird. I thought I was going to love it. I thought I was going to miss it. I miss nothing about being there. Nothing? And the weirdest part was I accidentally booked a hotel that was right next to my old apartment. Uh, Why would that be? Oh, was that bad? So I really felt the the oh, the nostalgia. The, the nostalgia. Yeah, because I remember you saying you didn't love your experience in New York when you lived there. Genuinely, I was at my lowest when I was living there. And so being <laughs> nice. on my street again, <laughs> I thought, oh, my God. I did go into my old building, though, and say mm-hmm. hi to the doorman because I just said, do you remember me? He's like, no. I was like, You're like, well, oh, okay. You're like, oh, no. Right. I remember the stories of when you lived in New York, your neighbor was... Was he a pot dealer or something like that? Yes, he did sell drugs. And he had a lot and, of parties. And all he did was his door was a revolving door for women every single night. Really? And the walls were thin, let me tell you. Did he ever try with you? He did. Oh, good. He did. <laughs> he did. And you know what? Just no. Well, I was lonely. There were friends, you know. I thought, why not get to know my neighbor? But yeah, he was an interesting dude. He left really quickly. You know, I not maybe people love New York, but I just don't love it. It's not for me. I'll be honest. I go there for a weekend. Great. I love musicals. I'll go to the <laughs> museums. That's what I do in New York. Like, Sistine will go to, like, the hot shot restaurants and probably, like, meet up with cool parties and friends. Me? You sound like I'm uh, way cooler. You though. are way cooler. The funniest thing is, though, I actually went to New York with the intention, because it was Fashion Week, that, oh, I'm going to get invited to all these sick after parties. Do you think one invite came my way? I just literally made plans for myself. What do you think ha- would have happened to me if I was there? No, we would have both I, not been invited yeah. together. Well, I knew that because Sistine texted me randomly in the middle of the day. Wrote, I miss you. And I was like, oh. we hang out 24-7. We live oh. together. We work together. No, it was so sweet. And the <laughs> fact that she missed me when we had like maybe a couple days separation. Yeah, the fact that I missed you is a big deal. That I was a never big deal. do stuff like that. No, she doesn't. I literally talked about it with my mom for probably... Oh, like you did? Day. Yeah. Maybe I should text you more often. Well, you, you just didn't I'm text me that stuff. It was really nice. I'm realizing <laughs> though, space is actually really good for us. Yeah, it is. We thrive on space. We do. Why are we living together? I don't know. I'm working together. No, I'm serious. Why are we living together? Um, what do you mean why are we living together? Because I don't know who else to live with. You're like the easiest person to live with-ish. I mean, I'm not saying I'm an angel myself, but I'm saying that compared to other people, I already know your routine. Okay, fair. You know? Fair. Well, what did you do when I was gone? Um, I literally have no idea what I just did. I know what you did. What did I do? I got us tickets to a museum, and you took them without me. Oh, no. That's not true. You wouldn't even like this museum. It's the Van Gogh Interactive Museum. I'm the one that booked it. What That's, are you talking what about? What are you talking about? Mom booked it. You didn't book it. That's my idea. No, it wasn't. Mom found it in a magazine. So I was like, remember, let's go, girls. I was like, remember? all right. I was trying to take you, and then the place canceled it because of COVID. It was that same experience. Mm. 
Oh, well, sorry. It was fun. You missed out. You were in New York. Sorry, at Fashion Week. I was at a Van Gogh museum sitting on concrete floor with mom. I did try <laughs> to take pictures of books for you. Did you? Yeah. To sext or not to sext, right? <laughs> it's very in. A lot of kids, a lot of young adults like to do it. But fuck the iCloud. I don't trust it. I've turned it off yeah, because I've been hacked twice. Not the vibe. No. I don't think people are doing it as much anymore for that reason. No, not as much. Like everything but gets no one leaked. sends like Polaroid photos to the guy like here. I mean, maybe they do. Like, does but people you can't still even do send that? A, how would you send a po- in the mail, send a Polaroid? It'll get to you three to five business days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Well, I, I think people still do it. Maybe through Snapchat, but like I don't, I don't use Snapchat. I feel old saying that because I think everyone that's under the age of 18 or Scarlet's age 20 uses Snapchat as a way to communicate. Well, I'll tell you what's disgusting. I understand that young kids are using Snapchat to talk to people because it's an easier, less committed way than asking for someone's number. But when I have a grown ass man asking for my Snapchat instead of my phone number. Cut off. What does that even Cut mean? Off. Wait, do you remember the, the hot chef guy that asked for your Snapchat first and now he just won't stop sending you? You mean creepy hinge chef. Oh, not hot chef guy. Sorry, that's hot gym guy. Oh my God, you guys remember Hot Gym Guy, right? I ran into him on the street in New York. York. Can you believe it? I said, Hot Gym Guy? And he's like, I have a name. (laughs) Okay. I don't remember. Sorry, you could have worse nicknames. Hot Gym Guy, God forbid. Also, speaking about dating, we were talking about sexting or not to sex, whatever. One of the worst things that we truly hate, we feel like guys do a lot, is send voice memos. I don't know why you men think (laughs) we want to hear a two minute message of you talking about what you're doing that day. What am I up to? If we should go on a date or not. It is. It honestly makes my skin crawl. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because while we were on the way here, I got a voice memo from someone, honestly, like, he probably is listening to this. I don't really want to get a voice memo from. I, I just have to interject really quickly. Your what? passion is inspiring right because now. Because you were... <laughs> it really is. But I have to say, everything that we've discussed so far on this this episode, we've blamed men for being the problem. Should we perhaps maybe look in a mirror once in a while and say, maybe we're the problem? Why are we the problem? I asked. I don't I, know. I, I no, just, just don't want to I, I think it's so funny that like all of our dating mishaps and things that we find wrong in the world, we're like, man, you did it. You are no, sending. No, that is false. I will, I will <laughs> say I'm the first to make a lot of mistakes in dating. I know. Okay. But Continue about voice notes. Why do you hate wait, them so much? Oh, wait. I mean, I think I'm less... I've gone voice memos less than you have. You are like the queen of getting selfies from guys and voice memos solely. Like I've never seen anybody yes. talk to their phone more than you do because that's all they. I hate. I hate it. It gives me a, a different level of anxiety. I'd rather FaceTime this person, but getting a voice note first of all, it's like creepy because then it expires. And then you only have two minutes to think of a response and two minutes to make sure your voice doesn't sound like my voice on camera. I mean, you guys know it's just I don't like the way it sounds. I think it sounds super deep. And sometimes, you know, I have morning voice. It's just a mess. And then I get nervous and have to reshoot it at least six times instead of sending a fucking text that I can just say what I want. You know, clearly, what? I have a hack. I have a hack if you don't want to do that. Just make a joke out of it. Use those um, emojis or... You Use know, those things called emojis? No, no, no. Shut what up. What is it called? About? Wait, on your phone, you can uh, make your face look like an owl or a bear. Oh, like a bitmoji. Bitmoji. That's the way. <laughs> I just aged myself. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, use a bitmoji no, that's not and the send point. something back. No, that's not the point. Why? What's, it's still your voice. You can change your voice as a joke. I, if it's a bear, I, no I don't like the last person I was talking to. He only used voice note. Yeah. And then also another problem is you can't remember. See, I have a problem where I have a really bad memory. So a guy will tell me something about himself and then I don't remember it. So then before a first date, sometimes I'll go back in the text messages and like refresh, you know, Oh, yeah, you grew up in Connecticut. Okay, I'll know that. I'll remember that. So, But in a voice note, they all disappear. Right? Yeah. So I show up to the state with this guy not remembering a single thing about him. It was stressful. I didn't like it. Mine's worse. I usually repeat the same thing I say over and over, and they're like, you already told me that. I'm like, okay, well, I'm telling you again. Don't tell me I've told you. That it's makes so me feel funny. so insecure. But you know what hits different? What? 
I've gotten insulted via voice note. I remember this one. Hearing someone's tone without a face is so, so brutal. intense. It's worse. I would rather you say it to my face than over a hundred voice percent. Look, I had Sly draft up this message and I said, this guy is just super weird. Like, I have to tell you guys this story later. It's a really good one. It's a really good story. It's a really good one. But I said, this guy is just, it ain't it. Sly, what do I say? He gave me... Honestly, the most perfectly written text message, not a voice note, uh, I've ever I've ever read. Send it to the guy. He responds just insulting me, firing jabs, digging at me. And I said, oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like I'm more hurt. If he had typed it, it wouldn't have been bad for me. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? I think that when you get a voice memo, that's almost like a basically like a screw you breakup voice memo you can't tell how their facial expressions are because when you are talking to someone you know that they're probably going to come up with something a bit more aggressive yeah but when you're listening to it it's just in real time you're just it's <laughs> real time it's just like plot twist and twist and i don't know it's it's way worse i agree maybe that's the way to if you ever are mad at your ex and you want to really get them just send a voice memo because it goes away but you wait can't that's it you can't have evidence wait, Sistine, that that's... makes you look crazy though but that's the thing it doesn't you can keep it no. can you yes oh never yes. mind i was gonna encourage everyone to no. just rant <laughs> you gotta do phone calls that's it phone yeah. calls you can't have evidence of you looking crazy that is the unwaxed way. Okay. No text messages, no videos because they'll screen record it. None of that. Oh, I also got a breakup video. That was also that really was hard to watch. Best guys. It's like three minutes of this guy like just going on. I go, you he, done? Can three I also say later? the entire three minutes he was posing. He was flexing his jaw. He was, yeah, he was pursing his lips out. He was like, if I'm not that hot, just tell me. I'm like, <laughs> like come on it was like it was atrocious. like he knows he's attractive and i'm like okay the fact he had to like acknowledge that sorry he just it's not even about me <laughs> so, um should we talk about our guest that's coming on yes i am super super excited to have this girl on she is kind of blowing up right now she I'd is say. i feel like she is a hot commodity she's on basically everyone's podcast she's blowing up on social mm -hmm. media she was on the Netflix show, Too Hot to Handle. Which, season two. Which I watched right when it came I out. I thought it was a, even better than season one. I binged it all the way through. Yeah. And and we're here to have just girl talk with her. Yeah. We're not going to make it too interviewee, but I want to hear her tips and tricks and things that you guys can relate to. And we just all have a girl chat. She was one of my favorites on the show. I know. And we got her. So stay we, tuned. And she is we got her. coming up. <laughs> Making her reality TV debut on season two of Netflix's show, Too Hot to Handle, our guest is exactly that, you guys. With over 1.4 million followers, this Canadian is making her mark in Los Angeles. We have the beautiful, stunning, iconic Carly Lawrence with us on on wax hey, today, hey, you guys. Hey. I'm hey, excited. Thank you so much for coming on thank today. Thank you for having me. This chick rolls up in a Ford Raptor. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's badass. actually funny. You should take a picture of it. I need to. It. I was, yeah, I was I just, actually about to record it. I'm yeah. like, fuck, if my phone was on. Well, yeah. there's something about a girl in a truck yeah. that just hits different. I mean, it's not my truck, but I mean, I do drive it. Do you no, don't tell people you on that. that. Yeah, well, guys, like, well, like, if I cut someone off on the, like, the highway and then they like, give me the phone, then they look they're like, oh, never mind. They're like, no, you're fine. They're like, no, it's okay. She's hot. a little blonde. She's too hot. It's fine. It's no big deal. That's sometimes what happens when I'm in my must because it's a muscle yeah. car so all these guys are like oh like, you have a mustang yeah i love that i, I used love to, well my dad had a mustang they're the easiest cars to drive yeah i need I to get a love new car. it you should get that yeah i should do it i'm telling I don't, you i don't agree with that thing by the way there. i don't agree i Why? hate i hate the way it drives you feel every pebble yeah. on the road yeah. it yeah. Is, it's kind of like the truck too though kind really? of yeah a little bit kind i just of. can't drive it I'm surprised I haven't crashed it. Honestly, I'm surprised you <laughs> haven't because I easily would have because I'm literally the worst driver in the world. Oh, no, I'm a good driver. Especially with like LA That thing's stuff. a boat. It is so big. Well, see, I prefer a truck because I just feel protected. Yeah, I do feel protected. Yeah, I don't feel it's safe in your car. Maybe that's a yeah. hack. Or maybe I don't get feel... a muscle car or like a more dude car and then you're going to hit on more. Yeah, true. Fair enough. Yeah, see? Yeah. True. See, there's another hack. <laughs> Wait, so did you just move to LA recently? I just moved to LA in like two weeks ago. I got a place. I'm Canadian. I'm from Canada. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. How well, has how? That been? Yeah. The culture it's been crazy. It, yeah. Like, it's just so different here. Yeah, like, Toronto different. is very, like, as much as it's like known as a big city, it's very small town. Mm -hmm. Like, right. so like everyone knows who you are. Like, when you go to the bar, it's like, oh, ever, really? it's a small city. You come to LA and you're like the smallest fish. 
Yes. And like the pond, like you go to the bar and everyone's like, who are you again? Because you're like at the bar I with Justin Bieber. Well, it's, Very... it's interesting because uh, we've lived in LA our whole life and mm-hmm. you say Toronto's like a small fish, small yeah. pond, but even though LA is a huge pond, I feel yeah. like everyone sort of knows Wait, yeah, everyone. Know. You're going to be here for I, four months and then yeah. you're going to realize that you recognize everybody and you know yeah. everybody. Like there's three spots and it's the same to go thing. out. It's oh, yeah. the same thing. I do already kind of feel like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even when you date yeah. people, I'm just letting you know. I don't, everyone knows I honestly person. not really dating. Oh, wait, yeah. I am dating. <laughs> wait, wait, no, I'm not. Wait, I don't know. Are What's you? going on here? He's going to watch us. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So are we dating? Or are we not dating? I don't know. We're not like dating, but I'm definitely seeing someone. But the thing with oh, me is that I don't sleep around. Like if I'm mm-hmm. sleeping with one person, I would like, feel committed. guilty. Yeah, to sleep. Like even if I flirt yeah. with someone, I wouldn't sleep around on him. Mm. Okay, so how did you meet him? him? He lives in LA. I DM'd him. Yeah, he lives in LA. Sophia, <laughs> okay. you know what? Wait, wait, Hold wait. Hold on. Back up. DMing because I literally said this to Sistine in the car. I'm like, I don't believe in dming anymore and that's only because every time i've done it or you've done it it doesn't it, work out and that's not true that implodes. was my first time dming someone and like, how did you do it, it? Worked? i just said what did i say to him he would know i said i think i said what's up handsome no no i didn't oh, no i didn't though, still that's cute oh, though i don't can't remember what did i you said reply to a story? no i said what's shaken i said what's, what's shaken? Shaken? oh that's even better I said, what's shaken because he's like pretty like weird like that and oh, then he yeah. replied and just sent me his number but see oh, that's doesn't ha- you know, it doesn't hurt that you're gorgeous, but see, that's a really smooth way to go in. Yeah, you could be cheeky, mm-hmm. funny. I think cheeky a lot and of, funny. I feel a yeah. lot of yeah. people like send us messages and they're like, "How do we slide in? How's the right way? Yeah, what shaking? I feel I think like yeah. that's safe. What shaking was good. I feel like you say anything that's kind of funny. Like you can't be like over. Like, right. oh my god, I want to hang out with you. Like, yeah. no. If a guy messaged me, like, you know when someone messaged yeah. me, I want to take you for like dinner. Like, oh my god. I know. Oh, take no. me for dinner. No. No. <laughs> Fucking pop don't, my pussy. Don't respect me. Don't, <laughs> don't ask me out. Me. Don't, don't like me. Don't, don't like me the like that. The more you don't, and then we were saying that too. We're like, every time we like a guy and we put in the effort for it, it just doesn't end up working out. But the ones I'm literally ignoring. My I friend's like, obsessed with you, by the way. Really? No, no, like legit, yeah. like so, like Ooh. he's a fuckboy and was like, I'm gonna marry her. Oh, I don't yeah. even know. Wait, say it. wait, which one is it? Of you? Wait, I don't remember now. Oh, oh maybe boy. it's her. I'm well, was, if you say his name, maybe we know. Garrett? No, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't. Oh, have I know it is. It's her. Who's Garrett? Because I saw the DM he sent. Wait, did he send? Did he send you? He sent you a DM. Who's I Garrett? said not to send no. you a DM. I said wait well, till I meet her. I'll tell you. I know who this is because he sent our unwaxed a DM. Remember how? Sestina, we just remember I said it was hilarious. That he <laughs> She's said like, it because we were on? just talking about it. We were watching Who's it with Ryan. Sestina, we were watching it with Ryan. F boy Island. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And I said, <laughs> Oh. Well, no, no. Yeah. I mean, like, you're uh-huh. a fuck boy. Yeah. No, he's actually not. He's actually. Oh, really he's nice. a nice guy. Okay. I don't know. Oh, okay. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's okay. Well, I have other hot friends. You don't like Stephen oh, Kelly? No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, dead. yeah, take any. Wait, are you dating someone? No, we're super oh, dating. Very oh, single. Geez. Very single, Sophia. Please. Me, okay. Yeah, well, I have really hot guy friends, so. Perfect. No, we love this already. Honestly, no, they're that's great. the only way to kind of meet people now. I don't even it believe is. in like DMing anymore. Because so, yeah. I just don't think it usually works out. You just ignore I want to go back to yeah. you being maybe seeing someone, maybe not seeing someone. Okay. So, yeah. you DM him. It works yeah. out. <laughs> you guys meet up. So, what sort of stage in the relationship are you at currently? Exclusive. Like he told me yesterday, he's not talking to girls. Oh, so okay. he said it first. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, that's... he posted me on his Instagram too. <gasps> okay, that's. I think it's pretty. But it wasn't my face, and he didn't tag me. Mm, wait, my so butt. what was it? <laughs> it was your butt. It was just my butt. Oh, that's cute. That's okay, okay. though. That's I think perfect. So. I was like laying on him in his. I think that's like the <clears throat> twenty twenty one way to say that we're exclusive. I agree. Yeah. Just like. Yeah, I agree. And if it, if it's it, such a bad, <laughs> is that sad that like that's no, our thing now? No, like he I don't Instagrammed think so. me and didn't tell me. It's he very, must very, me. very LA. <laughs> yeah. Like honestly, well, I can't like think of it. I also any have so way. many thoughts about posting relationships in general. It's a lot. I have never, and I know I think Sophia's like been the same. We've never posted no. a boyfriend, never tagged a boyfriend, never wow. ever in a no. and I just think it and always they get causes us, they do get upset. But they and always, girls like too will go after your man. Like I found, like I will think I I've seen this girl. She was like going for my ex, mm-hmm. and then when I started seeing my new guy, she like followed him too. I was like, okay, shut girl. up. If you want to okay. date me, you can DM me. Yeah, honestly, but I think down. she's it's... probably getting to the boyfriends to get to you. Of course, yeah. and I see that, and like, I feel like boys see it too. Oh, absolutely. Um, they it's do. just yeah, it's just, but, but it's different I because like that, you you had a very public relationship. Like, very you were public. on the show. You were dating a. I would not say a lot of people. You dated two people on the show. Well, I didn't even date the first one. Um, like we never slept together or anything. We okay. like legit 
kissed twice on camera. So oh, definitely didn't. It wasn't do it. dating. It was very like. But you yeah. came yeah. out of that show in a full blown relationship. We weren't dating post show. So what happened was we left the show. Like mm-hmm. I really liked him, and then mm-hmm. right when I flew home, I was like, I want to go see him. And within like a week, I flew to Miami and saw him. Oh, and then that's okay. when we kind of hit it off. But then we had a breakup. Then after the show oh, came out, God. then we got back together. But I think he dated me post show. For like clout reasons. Mm. Oh. Um, How is the difference a, between like dating on the show and then dating? In, well, like, I guess re- like real life. Yeah. So I guess when we couldn't post anything, it was like. Was it good? Because you guys had to be into it. It was more like fun. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. as soon as I was like us posting more, it kind of felt more of like, not like a job, but it kind of felt more well, like yeah. that's did, like why we were dating. Right. And it kind did of you made feel like, like the fans right. sort of kept the relationship going? 100%. Because when everyone's right. like shipping you, you're right. like, well, I want to stay in a relationship. Like, mm-hmm. If everyone loves you together, maybe like I should love us together. Yeah. And then when the night we broke up, obviously, and I like posted everything, I was like, there's so no going So would back. you say that maybe this relationship wouldn't even worked out? No. If- Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. No, not at all. Interesting. Is there an age gap between you guys? Same age. Oh, same really? age. Same age. Do you okay. like dating older or younger? Older, always. Oh, that's same. the youngest guy I've dated was my age. Really? I was gonna say oh, that's yeah. what we are too. I don't think we've dated anyone that's well. I like to us. subtract eight years from a man just because, like, mentally, yeah. I think they're eight years younger than they really no, are. No, I, I, so I you always that. have to yeah. go older. My one of my exes was fourteen years older than me, and it was great. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. fine. How yeah. was it like? Did they treat you well? Um, or do you think they're honestly the same? Because I have honestly, gone- it was the same. See. Doesn't he cheated even, on me too. <laughs> oh my god! How does someone cheat did on you? Like sleuth. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. But see, that's like, he was more smart about it. You just so no, <laughs> no. Well, he's okay. just clever about it. Like he's he knows how to get around it. it. Well, how Perfect. was he? How was he clever about it? Because Sophia and I are are very public about how we are able to investigate in stock men. Yeah, you stalk. Oh yeah, I well, do. but we do. I need to get you girls to stalk for me because I I'm don't so good stalk. At it. Sophia oh, no, I don't. is basically no, really the CIA. I'll figure, oh, I'll, I will figure. Okay, out I'm gonna send you some things will, after this. No, yeah, I will yeah, go yeah, into honestly. everything completely blind. I me won't. too. I have no idea what's going on. I'm like Ted Bundy or a nice guy. I don't know. Yeah, Sophia yeah, will do. Your, do I have your like work. less failing relationships just because. I figured it out before. Before. See, that's that's yeah. probably my problem. Yeah, and yeah. I I wish I wasn't like that, but at the same time, I think that it's good to kind of get like a a grasp of, of who they are. And mm-hmm. everything comes to surface eventually too. And that's another thing I yeah. think guys don't realize is that girls find out everything. And yeah. the two days before my breakup, I was in a podcast room and I had said like, the only way I'm going to find out if something's going on is like, if another woman tells me. Because I found like, that's like, oh, uh, yeah. And that's how I did. It, woman, so like, and I love that. I love girls for that. Yeah. I like mm-hmm. find it. Like if a woman's going to like right. tell another woman, your man's not in check. Yeah. Fuck right. all the power to you. Literally. I respect that so much. I would never turn a girl down oh, for telling right. me something. So is that how you found out? Yeah. That you got cheated on in the last relationship mm-hmm. a girl wow. told you? Yeah. How and and the thing you? is they send it a little private. So I had a lot of fake oh. accounts sending it to me but they would send videos of it. Okay. Well. Wait, then how yeah. is, that, oh. I have a question because you just said you were cheated on before that. Yeah. How do you like trust in a relationship after getting I don't. Yeah, like that's why my brain's like always checked out. Mm-hmm. That's why like another thing is she was like post relationship. Everyone's like, "You're moving on so quickly." You're moving, on. and I'm like, "But realistically, I have been mentally checked out because I knew stuff was going on." Right. right. So it's like as right, much as right. I just stay. Like I also give a lot of guys chances. Like I will give and give <gasps> and give. Me to the point where that's I'm finally like, oh, okay, I'm I'm so over it. A hundred percent. Now I'm mean. more like, fuck. If you're not going to, no, I'm like go. one and done. I've See, I've come to, to the realization where. I will give second chances, third chances, fourth chances, and I'll try to fix people and try yeah. to make them the person that I want them to be. But in reality, I realize, okay, maybe it's not the men that I'm dating because I can't change them. Yeah. Maybe it's me avoiding my own problems and dealing with my own issues that I'm going to project that energy onto yeah. them. Right. Do yeah. you feel like you have trust issues? Was that something that you dealt with before you even started seeing men? Um. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I don't really know. I've never really. I know it's kind in, of a loaded question. I think I haven't really ever stayed in relationships that long. Like, I kind of jumped shit. One? Four years. That's a pretty long. Yeah, that was long. That was in college. That we also like. Oh. Okay. It was like we had like the same friend group for like four I mean, years. I get it because I yeah. dated someone in college, and so it was like, kind of expedited. Yeah, it was yeah. like four years or together, mm-hmm. and it was right. just like we were in the same friend group, and it was just like easy. But we had a great relationship. It was like the easiest breakup and the easiest relationship I've ever been. It was probably the most healthy relationship I've ever See, been. See, isn't that funny? It's like my yeah. healthiest was high school. Yeah. What the hell? That, Why can't it be simple like that? Part. And also, social media is such a big thing, right? So, yes. social media is like you can look at a million other girls and other guys, and quickly your brain's like, mm-hmm. nah, there's always yeah. on to the next. Like, and that's why I think another reason I got over my ex so quickly, too. There was like a million people in my DMs like the night after, and I was like, right. okay, there's always more out there. Not like necessarily I was looking, right. but it was just like, 
Well, that's the problem because yeah. now that everyone has like a hundred options. I know. Yeah. But isn't that hard? That are you okay? So we won't talk too much about the guy that you're seeing, but is he more in the public eye? Mm, not really. I'd say I'm more now. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I would say good. he was when he was younger. He okay. was like he's like been famous for a while, mm-hmm. but I would say me more now, now is more yeah. in spotlight for sure. I was gonna 100%. say there is totally a difference between dating someone that's in like the public eye and then yeah. versus mm-hmm. private. Like, do you prefer like one or the other? Or I feel like I would want now private, but then I also like being shown off. Like, I yeah. also right. like the fact that he's been kind of public like, about cool. it. Yeah, well, it's, it's part of the reason thing. though that you like to be shown off. Mm. Because by the way, so do I. Every girl wants to it. feel like you know yeah. their man is putting them on yeah. a pedestal, but. Yeah. I feel like for you in particular, because you're on social media and because you came off the show, mm. I mean, your fan base is so strong. Yeah. And I couldn't even imagine the amounts of girls in like your man's DMs. Yeah, of course. I That's mean, doesn't, true doesn't that make you feel like anxious or insecure? Like, how do you deal with that? Honestly, it doesn't. I used to be get really jealous. And yeah. scared. That's something I'm, I've been working on and stuff and I'm working mm-hmm. through. But now I just kind of am like... If a guy's not gonna make me feel great, I gotta go. Good for right. you. Like really, yes. even yesterday, I was like kind of feeling a little bit iffy. Yeah. He's never gonna watch this, so fuck it. Yeah, I never. felt was kind of feeling off, and then I was like, "What am? I, what the heck am I doing?" Yeah. Right. And then I had two of his friends over, and we made dinner. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> no, that's, like in that way. But, but like, that's that's. That why was just not? like, yeah. Whatever. I don't need to like wait. I'm not gonna wait around. No. And I told him not to on the phone too. I was like, if you're not gonna be able to like be the type of man that I yeah, want, right. then I have to go. What Sorry. type of man do you want? I don't know. What's your type? I like girls too. Okay. okay. I said that. Yeah. I, I, um, <laughs> I, always get <laughs> I always get asked that online. Um, I think I just like someone that's really loyal. Honestly. Yeah, that's, yeah. On social media, off social media, mm-hmm. whatever. Like, I don't even hate when you like look through your man's likes and it's all girls. You're like, oh God. Yeah. To me, like, that's or it's like, all like cheating. The like, bikini Instagram girl. Bikini. Like, ah, that's a good point. Yeah, bikini. Yeah, Not like on. a face or like it's a friend, yeah, but like bikini right. looks slutty fits no, in the butt. Like, that's so unattractive to me. Yeah, right. that's why I can't even look. I'm the type of person where it's out of sight, yeah. out of mind. I will. That's the only yeah. thing that I've, all of my ex is muted, <laughs> but they're all of my close friends for strategic reasons. <laughs> And <laughs> she's really smart about this. Actually, this is pretty genius. See, I don't stop. Your closest friend. Well, I have all of them. To this. I have all of them in Do my it. close friends, just because I want to see if they're looking at my stories. And so you'll post a. So oh if you God, post so a hot. Chill story to the public yeah. right and then the next and then the next one it could be just yeah, like a photo of else. your water bottle see, and then yeah. you can see if they actually like watch your story and then also another tip is like if you want to like act like you blocked your man you just go on airplane mode but you still get the text <gasps> oh <laughs> i never knew this i saw tiktok that of it so i was like good. genius so genius. it's like fuck you i'm blocking you airplane and then you can still see what they text you and then you unturn your airplane come through but they'll think oh, is that God. genius? That's actually so really smart. Did, I know. did I it work? T- for, did I haven't done it. I haven't. Oh, done it. Okay. I haven't fought with him yet. So okay. I guess we'll find out. I know. I'll he won't know. watch it, so he won't know. <laughs> Perfect. That's actually really smart. I know. Really smart. I need to find a guy to do that too. A hundred percent. I feel like I need to have a roster. I feel like yeah. I won't be sad if I have more than one. I just feel bad. Yeah. No. I, I think know. just stick with if it's yeah. going well. Well, I think stick with no one. Honestly, I feel like I should. I was gonna say you. I'm. You're just recently living in LA. It's a new city. Yeah. Lots of options around. Tons you. of options in my career. I launched uh, my podcast yeah. on Wednesday. Let's I know talk we talk about that. Yeah. Let's talk about so that. So what's it called? Uh, now the fun starts. I now came up with the name starts. like legit before my first girls came in the room. Really? I was sitting with my Abby, like my creative guy, mm-hmm. and I was like, because he said something about my ex, and I was like, well, now the fun starts. And he's like, that's your name. I was like, yes. That's yes. actually awesome. Yeah, now name. the fun starts. So it comes out Wednesday. Comes out Wednesday Who's every your first Wednesday. Guest? I'm not sure who I'm going to put it on first. So I already oh, I filmed a few different episodes, but I'm not yeah. sure which ones I want to do, like what I want to do first. So okay. why did you decide to start a podcast? Honestly, because I did a few and everyone was like, she needs her own podcast. And then also I was like, it's nice when like something happens in the media and like also like anything I do is like mm-hmm. posted on Reddit, like mm-hmm. wildfire. Right, and I'm like, right. it's nice to have my own side of the story. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I don't need to go on podcasts to say I can say it on my own. 100%. Mm-hmm. That's another thing too. And it's something to be said to like, it feels good just to have one mic and just talking yeah, and being like, course. okay, this is coming from like yeah. the person's mouth. Like yeah. this is how yeah. I feel. And then you can kind of like create the narrative also that you want to put out there rather yeah. than people like fabricating something. Cause I don't want to be on my story saying, oh, like this is yeah. what I actually happened. Like that's, like yeah, I know it's just a great yeah. platform too. Yeah. Like young girls, when you, like message me daily, like confidence and like this and like mm-hmm. or moms will message me. I'm like, oh my daughter's like so insecure. How do I make her feel better? I'm like, I would love if like if I was younger to be mm-hmm. able to like listen to someone right. that could maybe make me feel better because I didn't have that growing up. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. You know what I mean? Like I couldn't just turn on a podcast and like feel better. Right. Hundred percent. So. Well, that's kind of how we kind of started our podcast because mm-hmm. we're like we really want to find a podcast where it's just two sisters like bringing mm-hmm. on guests and we yeah. just kind of be your older sisters or your younger yeah, sisters of course. and just have like a conversation. Yeah, of course. And so yeah. it's like there's a good. It's always good to have like a reason to yeah. go into it not just like going oh like 
because of yeah. social media. Like you're like, yeah. I want to help people. Yeah, I want to help people for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's and really also exciting. it's like great to be yeah. vulnerable. And you seem like super open, which is great. I'm pretty open. I which kind it. of bites me in the ass sometimes. Uh, same here, but it's fine. But I'm like, you know what? It's who you are. You can either stay quiet and be judged or say your opinion. Yeah. That's what my therapist says. She's like, Carly, you could shut your mouth your whole life and you will still be judged. So might as no, well use true. your voice. I'm Why just not? warning you that yeah. your ex will probably listen to your podcast. Really? All of ours have. Can I tell you this? Literally all of ours have. I haven't said anything bad. No, no, no. But I'm just saying in general, like they will never thought they listened until two weeks ago i got approached by mine and said stop talking about me <laughs> like, oh, you're like at, shit I actually go, no, you he will he definitely will he listens oh, no, they, always, like, they always say they won't but then every time they'll come back and be like that one time that you said that and, we're and you're like, like how oh, the fuck did you know yeah, how did you know what's going what on over there was that? what the heck's going on i know, I know. it's literally it's <laughs> I'm like i wasn't talking that wasn't your date i was talking <laughs> yeah. another date i'm like you listened to me talk for 45 minutes yeah amazing good we love it we love to see it thanks for the view how has it been living with a boy Good, great. Because we live with our cousin and he's a guy. So I get along with boys. I love girls, but like I haven't had many girlfriends in my life. I really? find well in high school and in elementary school like bullied a lot by girls. So I mm-hmm. never really got along with them. I always was close tell to us, men. Right. Tell us about that because we've had very similar experiences. Yeah. I just like hated I remember just like was so nervous in elementary school to go to school. Because mm-hmm. like this one girl, I remember I hated it. And I remember she used to like she ripped, she cut up part my Lululemon pants and like Whoa. put my headband in the sink like she was just a bully like mean like mm-hmm. she was really mean and since then I was like no plus I have an older brother right and I hung with him and all his friends so I just yeah. always was close to men so I just get oh, along so you're already like acclimated with boys anyway yeah. so it was easy to transition my three into. best friends here are guys well two guys and then I have my one girlfriend but how is like the living differences even with dating because I know that our cousin like helped bring home girls it's just like a totally different way to, like yeah. I, like we try to figure out a way to not like yeah. interject or like at least be not he doesn't bring home girls oh he doesn't it's kind of nice though yeah he doesn't bring home girls so it's actually fun he brings home his guy friends which are my guy friends so it's fun it's just like it's always a big party at my condo honestly i don't really ask for advice are you pretty good at like texting and dating i don't really yeah i feel like i just do what i think would be right like how i want to like treat them so i don't really try to play games like i feel like if i want to text someone i'll double text someone or if i don't want to text you and you piss me off i just won't answer you Oh. I don't think too much into it. Honestly, I, I don't. Look, That's I'm good. so not about playing games as well. Yeah. I know Sophia goes, <clears throat> if he writes me 20 minutes and didn't answer, I'm yeah, going to wait see, 25. Like, yeah. like yeah. I don't, I don't. Well, I Same don't play that. Like that. I mean, I just you don't play it to the minute. You play it to no, the hour. To the hour, <laughs> of course. Yeah, Thank I'm not being you. that crazy, but it's like, I mean. I'm not, if a guy's ignoring me, I'm not going to like fucking text you. No, of so, like, course. You I wouldn't go my like time. that. Either. Yeah. So but that's like, like more yeah. my thing. I'm like, if you're not giving me the energy, I'm not going to give you Of course, energy. me either. Yeah. Fuck that. No. So it's like yeah. tit for tat. Yeah. What has yeah. been your experience though? Because you said that you had like trouble meeting girlfriends or mm-hmm. at least, I know, for <laughs> my experience living in Los Angeles, I've lived through my life and I have such a hard time meeting girls. Yeah. Have you experienced any like fakeness or people that want something and then kind of behind your back? Oh, well. You're not. That's yeah. just a circus. Yeah. Of One it. girl was like just super clout chasing and just mm-hmm. trying to she just we- weasel her way in, but I. I, I feel like you can like smell it. Seeing oh, it. I can smell it. I have one girlfriend here, really. Honestly, it's was so exciting to meet you girls. We I mean that. Yeah, I know. I literally was like saying full to Garrett and like my friend. Wait, that's I was like, I'm going to be friend them. Oh, no, we were I, I, I was, was like, like I'm going to be friend them. They're coming to my dinner on Wednesday because my launch is Wednesday. Oh, yeah. And I'm having an event on Sunday, oh, Saturday. I'm like, so I'm going to invite fun. them because I have no girls. I have one girlfriend here. Wait, Carly. Well, we would love that. Because we'll be friends. I actually don't have girlfriends. Let me tell you. I actually don't. friend. But same. I grew up with one girlfriend. We went to the same school every year since through college yeah she moved to new york i literally have you zero have girlfriends you i have, have but it's like my sister's my friend yeah. all but right yeah. that's more than i enough. feel the same way yeah, it's yeah, like no. you, and by the way you only need one friend yeah, yeah. that's all you need no it's true yeah i I'm mean more i only have a, one so it's i have yeah. more guy friends too yeah me too and even just i hate easier. when people are like that's a red flag when a girl has more guy friends who gives a fuck about gender yeah, just in true. general who cares about that to each whatever you want to do i don't give a shit about that i totally call yourself a butterfly okay I think I, don't I care. feel like <laughs> I feel like the youth thrive. Do you thrive being single? Because I can tell yeah, you, everyone really... tells me to be single all the time. You do being in a relationship is because I give them a hundred percent, and then it's yeah. like and I don't focus. Being... But when I'm single, I'm focused, like I'm dialed in. Right. That's why right now I think for like at least the next month I should keep it very single. Just because yeah, I'm yeah. launching, like so yeah, much stuff's working. coming out, I'm working. Well, that's how we kind of felt because yeah. when we were starting this podcast and everything, we're like, you know what? Like, let's just focus on our mm-hmm. work. And honestly, it's really fun. Because it is. Because I feel like you're pretty confident. Are you a confident person, would you say? Or I do don't you, know. I'm do you think really you're like learning nervous. how to? I'm learning, but for my podcast, I'm really nervous. You're so like, what if no one listens to it? What if Let me tell it? you. Let me tell you. Sophia and I, we, this is our 
We're like past 50 episodes now. Is that 50? Yeah. Yeah. And so we we, started this last August. And we literally started it thinking, okay, we're going to say whatever we want in front of a microphone. Half of it's going to be, you know, advice that no one's going to take. Yeah. We have no idea what we're talking about. We're just going to blabber and no one's going to listen. But if one person listens and it helps them in any sort of way, it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to work for you because yeah. as you see it grow, it's funny. We actually didn't even see our yeah. numbers or what, what our listeners are until maybe last month. Yeah, I don't want to see mine. And I'm we were shocked. We go, people listen. <laughs> so like, like, And then you yeah, have girls coming up to you on the street and they'll say, we love your show. We were, we're in like, Miami. You and listen to our show. Me up to yeah. and like, we love your show on Wax. And we're like, oh my God, there are people listening. And honestly, the biggest yeah. advice I would just say is people can smell out if you're being honest or not. Yeah. And being yeah. vulnerable. Like yeah. we just... We totally expose ourselves yeah. for like mental health. So do I. Um, everything. Do I it. expose myself do every it. day. My life. Body and security. <laughs> oh no, even we like talk about dating. Like, like yeah. talk about your embarrassing date stories. Like that's literally all we do. And yeah. It, it ends up being really fun. And honestly, People it's like a therapy it. session for yourself. No, it is a therapy. It I wish after I film a podcast, it feels so good. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, it's and fun. I don't, yeah, no, I really, I'm like, I don't need my therapist anymore. Yeah, I don't go to therapy. I'm canceling my Monday session. I'm done. What are we choosing to? What are we choosing to? Girls. Girls and new friendships. Girls, friendships. Cheers. Mm-mm. That was good. Oh, that was delicious. Whew. We don't even like chase, which is that. not a, a flex that we shouldn't. I do have goosebumps. That, but it's just, oh, it's actually so kind of. That's not a flex. We just love drinking. Do a little shot. Right? right? Perfect. Are we going to go out tonight? Huh? Oh, maybe. Should oh, we? I have, to I have a concert. I'm going to. Are you going to Glass con- Animals? No, I. Should you go to Kit Moore? We're a country <laughs> concert. Do you like country music? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no. She's like, shut I, up. I'm so no, excited. I do. I do. No, I love it. So since you've been in LA, and I know it's been like probably the biggest transition, what's this bit like been the biggest difference do you think mm. you've seen from like? I guess going to like a bar that like I know everyone and then going out to a bar here and I'm like. Right. Everyone hates me. Did, no. See, like not no, actually, no but like you, you know oh what I mean? God. Like everyone's kind of more like stuck up here. Do you feel right, that way yeah, though like, sometimes when you like walk into a room and you're like, everyone's judging me, everyone's Well, just because me. people are in like their own cliques, I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like there's different like levels to the, the cliques. See, that's- And I'm at like yeah. my own random like- Right. Spider web you, Wait, are you an overthinker? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Did yes. you, 100%. Were you in like therapy before you came onto the show or like in LA or did you join it when you came here? I did therapy when I was little. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I stopped and then post-show. Because okay. I was literally out of whack. Like on the show, you legit are like you have a like a life coach. It's not really like a life coach, but it's like the whole team is like the whole production is because like yeah. they put you to bed, they turn the lights off, they turn the lights on. So like you are literally oh, on a wow. schedule of eating, sleeping, filming, getting changed, doing your makeup. So how long is I it would, for? I would oh, love to know weeks. what the schedule was. What time did you have to wake up? Eight a.m. I think we did wake up and then sleep, and then sleep was like ten. So That's legit, like, early for or like eleven, yeah. but like you're legit put in bed and taken out of bed at oh. a time. Like it's not like you can lounge in bed and like go on your phone. You're up. You're getting ready. You're filming in an hour. So I have, yeah. I have wow. so many questions about this, and I don't. I think a lot of people understand the logistics of reality TV. We don't even need to get into all of that. Well, she didn't even know she was on too hot to handle. No, that, no right? clue. Really? I would have looked way better. If I knew, Stop. did you guys see me on that? What the fuck I thought was you going on? Actually, we watched the first episode last night just to like get a recap, recap. of like yeah. what. Like and we were like, like your were. bathing suit was the yeah, best one. Yeah, we're like, you looked hot. Uh, you looked amazing. I looked terrible, but it's totally fine. Wait, did you know anybody going into the show at all? No. No? I hadn't watched Chote in the first season. Mm-hmm. So I legit oh, knew nothing. Cool. I brought Vans and like sneakers. And the girls had like pom side like two pairs of heels. Do they oh dress God. you? No. Oh. They bought me makeup there. Like I was so out You were unprepared. I was oh ready to get fucked up. It was called Parties, Parties in Paradise. Yeah. Parties. 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 How did you find Parties in Paradise? I <laughs> Parties. How did you find Parties? We're having Parties? a party in the podcast studio. <laughs> they DM me. Oh, this okay. guy DM me and I was just like, it's a scam. And then it was so much testing and videos and chats and this person, oh, this geez. producer and this background check and this psychological testing. I was like, okay, it's not a scam. So, yeah. Do they ask you certain questions to sort of? Because I remember Sex in your questions. I was really? gonna say like I remember weird? in your intro, weird, yeah. If you were on par- parties of yeah. the island or whatever the fuck it was, parties of paradise, parties of paradise, parties of the island, uh, parties of the parties island. of love. I, I was I was wondering because your whole intro is strictly just about like sex, me, you, know. you calling yourself yeah. a man eater and yeah. like dating, well, like, and dating they, stories. Like, they pull it out of you. They pull it out of you. Right, and so yeah. I was wondering because 
obviously reality TV magic, they can make you look a certain way with yeah. editing, make you sound a certain way. You could yeah. be the nicest girl in the world, yeah. but they could cut it up and make you sound like a total asshole. Of course. Mm-hmm. So yeah. was what was portrayed on TV accurate or do you feel like they sort of gypped you sometimes? For me, I think they portrayed me really well. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I think I did. Pr- I think my feedback post show was probably the I would say like the some best. of the best from the girls, mm-hmm. right? Because, but then again, I I just was myself. Mm-hmm. But for the like guys, I feel like Different. they portrayed them a bit worse. For that, for two out to handle, it's like they really portray the best that they can. Yeah, like, right, like right. that's the best reality show you can get on. Oh yeah, like realistically, like that's if true. I like, the there's no better than that. I mean, the exposure, the exposure from it? like yeah. Love Island just doesn't compare. Mm-hmm. Nothing no, else no, compares. The like US it. one is just yeah. not the, the two channel would be the best thing that I could have got on oh, or, yeah, or done, mm-hmm. and that was the one that I did. But yeah. they portrayed me pretty great. I, I, that's I, I did you ever think that you'd end up in the position you're in now? No. Like, what did you want to be before this? I kind of knew I was going to be like kind of in like in the limelight mm-hmm. but i was remember i was bartending and i was like what am i gonna do with my life i thought about getting into like real estate oh you mm-hmm. probably have so many tips yeah i just like didn't know yeah i did I mean, yeah so i was funny. gonna say <laughs> but i just like didn't know what i wanted to with life and then this came up but like that's how it happens right yeah. it was just like yeah. out of the blue and i was like fuck it like what am i doing but like it's weird because knowing me and my anxiety like mm-hmm. i would never think that i'd be like on a plane by myself in Turks and Caicos with no phone, yeah. quarantining, and yeah. then on a show by myself. That's really scary. It though. makes you really independent really quickly. Yeah. Like, there, mm-hmm. like something that I went through that, like, just no one was going to do that in their life. Like, no. that's like a one in a mm-hmm. billionth chance oh, of I, doing I what I've same. done. Yeah. Like, no, it's I wild. feel that. Because I think with the, yeah. even with anxiety, you just never think that you're going to put yeah. yourself in that position to make yourself maybe yeah. more anxious. And then yeah. you realize, like, wait, I actually can't. Well, were, yeah. is that yeah. how you were feeling while filming? Because to us, like, oh, the yeah. viewer, you looked so confident and real and spoken. I didn't have the best time in that. I was going to say, like... I did not no. have the best time in those. Why not? Um, I don't know. I think I don't know. It's hard to say because I don't want to like out anyone. But no, like, you don't have to out anyone. No, I mean, but was I it definitely more... was only close to like a few people. two people. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, I will say I didn't necessarily find the rest of everyone enjoyable. Well, I mean, it's yeah. a rarity to find like an entire group of people which that is you a like. Very small. That you like. Yeah, like ten you're not different th- personalities. Yeah, ten best like looking a, people. Exactly. Competitive yeah. women Ex- and men. Oh no, everyone's there yeah. for themselves. Everyone's oh there my god, of course. Not and, and that's why I learned pretty quickly. I'm here for myself. So right. I mean, like, oh, yeah. that's I would have yeah. personally felt extreme anxiety just yeah. being just socially. It was yeah. a lot. therapist on site though, which was great. That's good. So they had a therapist on site. I don't know how you would have done. I like. Yeah, they had a therapist on. I couldn't have done without the therapist there. They had a therapist on site and legit anytime time you're feeling upset like a producer would talk to you like they would come up like I remember one night when me and Chase broke up on the show I was I went outside the room and I was crying Mm -hmm. and within like seconds I'm not kidding you like three producers came up and sat with me oh Oh, wow like they are so good at being there for you like Mm -hmm. they were um, Netflix does an amazing job of like with like mental health Mm -hmm. mental health for sure are you a big advocate on that like 100 see I like that people talk about because it's really something that's like so dumb to Mm -hmm. make it like a hush hush talk yeah no they were there they they did it so right like and they made me go through like a breakup online, but it was so easy because like I had so much support. Yeah, the last right. So it's like now moving forward, like that's why my last breakup, like I wasn't like sad about it. Because that's you were good. able to like. Because I was able to just like cope yeah. how like I would cope in the house. And it was like oh, give wow. space from the person and then like just don't talk to So them. you learned a lot from the I show. I did learn a lot from the show. That's I actually, amazing. my girlfriend asked me, Jolie asked me last yeah. night, she's like, D- like how do you feel about dating post show? I'm like, I just like am way better at dating. I find like I care less. Oh, good. Not like in a bad way, no, but like I'm just like. Actually, that's good. Wait, what would you yeah. tell girls then that are going through a breakup? Like, Take space. Take space is the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't creep the social media. Right. The more you look, mm-hmm. the more you're going to be upset. Would you say block? Or I would say block because I find mute? blocking shows you really care. And I don't like giving someone that satisfaction. So mute, right? I did block my ex though. Okay. If he asked me to unblock him and I, w- I didn't. I Good. have unblocked him now. Okay. But at the time I did See, block him. See, why do you him. think he asked though? Let's let's dive into that. Because he why probably he wanted my his tags to saw me tagged. Oh, see? Oh, that's, see, that's the wrong See, and that's what it comes down answer. to selfishness. And like that's yeah. what I don't like. Mm. I feel yeah. like with every see? breakup, with every relationship, even friendships, you sort of realize what you didn't get in that one and what you want for the next of one. Of course. What yeah. do you feel like you didn't get in the last one? And you're like, okay, I would love to find this in um, the next one. I didn't get anything from that relationship. Oh, my God. Mm. Nothing. Carly, oh, my God. Guys, I paid for everything for that man. Everything, breakfast, lunch, dinner, staying. He had his whole life covered, and then even past that, he was talking to girls behind my back. See, like, but and I was like, bro, you're gonna use my card and then still cheat on me. So yeah. you got nothing. You said from your last relationship, nothing. What would like you that sounds like? mean, but like I don't. No, but, I need but, to be honest. Like legit, way, not, nothing. But a lot of people Fair. can relate to that because I think that some people go like, I thought I was like trying so hard to make it something. I tried. But, like mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. But then yeah. it just didn't end up being anything. You're like, okay, maybe yeah. if I pay, maybe if I do this, maybe yeah. if I do that, like 
something yeah, no. will come up that he benefits so me. So what would but... you like for the next one? That's a good question. Or maybe just one thing. They're like, well, I guess like loyalty. Open, like yeah, honestly, loyalty, and yeah. to feel not used, like that would be right. nice. Like that would mm -hmm. be genuinely nice to not feel like I'm like being used. Like right. I feel like I was used for clout. I was used for financial reasons. I was used because he wanted to move here. We couldn't afford it. So he's like, well, free ride. You know? Oh my God. I, it I, was like so gross. That, like looking back, I hate him. Like I don't hate him, but like I want to cut that, but like I actually hate him. Like, okay, that sounds okay. so bad, but, I, like, girl to girl, I don't like him. Yeah. I think he's a terrible person, if I'm being honest. No, but I don't think anybody in a relationship like that should feel great after. Well, it's like, I would, I would not it's like sometimes hard either. because how long were you guys together? Like, December, January. See, it's sometimes a while. hard. Well, it seems wild, like a really like long show, time. And too. When you're yeah. in a relationship that you don't realize is toxic or not good for you, you're yeah. sometimes you're just so consumed on focusing on okay, I want to make it work and yeah. I want to make this person like me and I want to teach this person to do yeah. these things. And sometimes you're just beating a dead horse. There's nothing that you can do. Yeah. And you lose sight of what is good for you. And like yeah. you you don't put yourself as a priority. And now, I mean, it's amazing that you can sit back and say, I, it was a bad mistake for me. It wasn't a good move. I'm going to learn yeah. and move on for the yeah. next one. But it's, I mean, it's tough. For I, me, we've all been there. For me, it was like, I wasn't even like trying to like make it work. It was like, I felt like I was like his babysitter. Oh. Like, I felt like if I didn't feed I've him, been there. like, no one's oh. going to get him food. Like, that's legit why I stay with him, because I felt bad. Like, oh, I was like, God. he doesn't have money. His career, like, my career is, like, I work really hard for, like, what I'm mm -hmm. trying to accomplish in my life. Right. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was, like, trying to pull him up with me. Right. And I felt bad. I was like, no one's going to help but him But it stops up. your growth, too. It stops my growth. But now I look at it, and I'm like, what's he really doing? Like, not in a mean yeah, way, but, like, no, really. no, but sends me, like, what the fuck's he doing? Right. Like, yeah. I don't know. No, but I think that's yeah. the best thing is when you cut like, off the things that are holding you back. Look at you now. Like, you yeah. are literally having your own podcast. I'm not you found sad. a person. It's no, like, and you're not sad. Oh, but that, but that's how you know it's not good. No. Like, no, no, no. But isn't that a great feeling? Yeah. It's uh, no seriously. Cut out your toxic so happy. people. But that's please. when you know you made the right choice. Literally. When you leave a relationship and you almost feel lifted. Yeah, like, I felt lifted. I feel like I can be single. I could date people. I could focus on my work. Yeah. I could better myself. And you're doing all of those yeah, things. Yeah, no, which I do. Is feel amazing. Great. I feel but you also amazing. probably feel like even if you weren't with the guy and it didn't end up working out, like you still feel like okay, if I had a shitty date with someone, I can still like move on and be fine. Yeah. Right. Hundred percent. I actually am curious. Have you ever been like on a really bad date? I, you know, it wasn't like a really bad date. I was seeing someone and I was with one of my best friends at the time and I talked about this on the show and we went back to his house and I guess I was like so drunk I fell asleep mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. I just fell asleep. Okay. Who Girls cares? Fucking I was like asleep. 5 a.m. And I woke up and she was like sucking his dick beside me. <gasps> Stop, <laughs> it. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I didn't Stop even it. care. I you didn't, didn't even care. Because no. <laughs> I was like, well, he's never going to be in my life. Pa wait, wait, wait. How many dates was this in? Well, we were like seeing each other, like more than just date. Like we were like together, probably. Yeah. And you're like, okay, I was but just like, well, he was never gonna be in my life ever. So I was just like, like okay. is it really getting worth worked up? But over, you like, really oh, have like, thick skin. Yeah, I, like, I really been, just don't care. No, but you've been <laughs> through it. Oh, that's by the way, that's a story that don't. a lot of girls would care. And like you've been through it. I, feel I like, didn't even care. I just like woke up and I was like, I'm gonna go home. Like you can like finish. What's gonna What's gonna phase you at this point? Like what could the what could a guy do that you'd <laughs> actually like, I don't get? Even know. You know what really fazed me if like a guy like paid for my dinner. <laughs> Stop. Please tell right. me someone has. All right, all right. Carly all right. has a guy bought me Please, shoes. Wait. Are you? No, 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 Carly. Carly, Carly. <laughs> where are you meeting these men? I don't know the dumpster. <laughs> the dumpster. Okay. I would love a PSA. Do you, I hope all the men listening right now PSA. Buy her dinner, open the door for her, compliment yeah, her when like you first see her. Things. Little, little things. things. We remember <laughs> Say that. Say I look pretty. I literally spent time to put, like, pay for And if you're going to post you know? my ass on your story, at least tag me. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You know what? I would like <laughs> to be called pretty. That'd be nice. My ex never called me pretty ever. <laughs> oh, my God. Sophia and I go crazy. But some guys aren't good at giving compliments, so I don't judge him on that. No, but I'm Wait, sorry. Wait, is that bad for me to say? Fuck yeah, you. It is. <laughs> it is. Want to know why? Tell me yes. this. We, we get so upset. If a girl gets ready for a date, yeah. she spends maybe an hour, two hours yeah. preparing, thinking money about too. it. Yes, money, too. Yeah. Maybe she gets a blowout. You don't know. Yeah. Eyebrows, lashes. And like, yeah. If time. the first thing that doesn't come out of your mouth when you see her is, oh my God, you look it's so beautiful. beautiful. You look beautiful. That's Anything. it. And, uh, By the wait. way, dudes, if even if you don't think she does, just say it. Say it. Yeah. She'll feel so good. Yeah, it's true. Just get it together. Compliments are yeah. free. <laughs> Compliments are free. Way quicker. Yeah. It's just and pay for the dinner if it's the first date. Just like wait, pay for the dinner. I haven't been on a date in so long. What are you? Wait, wait, You're Carly. Does it, someone? No, but does wait, he not like, take properly you out to date? ask you? Out? <laughs> oh, we're taking you on a date. Okay, okay. Should we go on a date? I go for all... do I go for bad men? Yes, <laughs> yes. We'll find. You. <laughs> By the way, so do I. <laughs> I thought I found myself a winner over here. <laughs> Please don't watch this. I love you. No, he so... hasn't taken me for dinner. But you oh wait, know what? he bought me curry at night. 
at his house. No, no, no. Like if he posts butter count. chicken, though. No. <laughs> it's oh butter chicken account. I fucking love Indian food. It's my favorite type of food. I love this. But anyways, love- he bought me that. So that okay, was good. Okay, okay. We're you like the- Indian food? I love it. We know favorite. a great spot. We we'll know, take that's you that's out. Okay. And we'll I'm pay down. for you and compliment. Or we're taking you on a date. I'm so excited. I went on a date. I'll wear a dress for you. Know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm we'll putting on same. kitten heels. Wow. Oh my god. Heels. You don't wear heels? No, I will for you. I wear pumps. Oh fuck! Oh, I always I'm wear a heel heels. Person. Me too. Oh, I, I always care. wear heels in public, though. Yeah. Like for for a night out, you got to. This has been li- actually exceeded my expectations. Like I knew <laughs> I was gonna love you, but I like now. I no, we, it, it is. It's, love you guys too. It's this. It's the. My boobs are sweating. That's okay. We're all sweating. <laughs> we're all sweating. So by the way, we have oil sheets. We were literally just stabbing. We're hoping that the oh, people no. watching this will just think it's highlighter and not our. No, sweat. I legit. I'm sweating down my boobs. No, you look incredible though. Higher. Yeah, hide it with the hair. Okay, I'm, done. I'm ready for the outro now. You completely exceeded the expectation. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you meet girls for the first time, you never know if you're going to vibe, if you're yeah. going to bond. Yeah. I feel like this is a We're friendship vibing. made We're to happen. We're I'm excited to come on your show. I know. Yeah. We're going to Tell We're the fun. listeners where they can find your podcast, your Instagram, everything. Carly Lawrence underscore is my Instagram. My YouTube is Carly Lawrence. And my podcast Instagram is now the fun starts. Yay! Yay! We're so excited for you. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.